Tina saved a dog, well our dog, from drowning. This is what happened this morning. Good morning, YouTube. Excuse the little puffy eyes, but I uh, just woke up. So as you guys can see on the title, Tina saved a dog, well, our dog, from drowning. And before I show that footage, I want, let me explain myself. So I really didn't do much. I kind of like moved out of the way, but so before you guys dog me right away, I have a reason why. So let's, let's get to the footage and then I'll explain. So this is what happened this morning. <laughs> pretty crazy right so okay so i know you guys are probably saying oh my gosh you didn't do anything why are you just chilling there why are you just stand there one it was cold two i love coffee and i did not want my coffee to get cold or panic and drop my coffee and well you know one of us had to keep calm but no big shout out to you turtle make sure you guys give turtle a follow at ae turtle put her information well not information description i'm over that right here 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 all over the place but yeah make sure you guys give her a follow like my friend harry said you know she's the one that kicked the ball so realistically she should have been the one to go save him but comment down below let me know what you guys think i mean did i do a good job by keeping my cool or does tina get all the credit but yeah that's definitely one way to start your morning off i'll tell you that and also this is really 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 cool too check this i hope she's done Oh my goodness, just two eggs. But I think she has a third one coming. I'll check in a little bit, but... Man, and I believe that's our clutch number 54. Man, two eggs, so two big eggs, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little upset about that one. So right there, that's a blackhead, uh, red jean, ringer jean, um, possible head pied, possible head pied, bred to a leopard clown pied. So hopefully we get some visual blackhead leopard pied that'll be 100% head clown. That'll be pretty cool, right? So but again, two eggs, odds are definitely not in our favor, but uh, we'll see. Also guys, before I show you guys some awesome clutches that we've been hatching over here at AEP, a good buddy of mine, Shane from Small Town Exotic stopped by over here and Shane is one of those guys like I called him like he's one of those underground guys that's just coming up out of nowhere. This guy is building an insane snake collection. He's um actually like I said he actually stopped by here at the house and he did a little shopping like I said I'm not going to show you what he uh well here's a little clip of it. Hey Tortoise what are you doing up there? I'm letting down my hair. Oh cool. All right guys so I think my buddy's here already. I'm not going to tell you guys his name because I mean you guys should know him and if you guys don't make sure you guys go give him a follow and subscribe to his channel. All right. All right, I know he's here. The only reason why I know is because I was looking at the cameras and I was like, oh man, he's here. Look, I want to see, let's see, let's zoom in. Dude, and that is a legit big dog. And when I say legit big dog, like, if you guys want to be like legit, you guys have to get one of those shirts right there. Look at that, right there. And this right here is Shane from Small Town Exotics right here. And look at that, he has his camera. So guys, we're about to go in the room right now. And I'm telling you, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some window shopping or some real shopping? Some real shopping. <laughs> some real shopping. Hey, Shane, so uh, I see that you're a coffee guy. You know, I'm a big coffee man myself. Um, did you hook a brother up? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, oh. Cool. Well, you can have some of mine. Th huh? There goes a the discount. <laughs> Dude, so real quick, Shane, sorry, man, but excuse me for all of the mess over here. As you know, we're um, remodeling this whole thing over here, dude, so yeah, I apologize. But yeah, so um, dude, you want to tell us a little bit about your channel and your page and everything? So I'm going to put all your information in the description down below. So guys, please go make sure you guys go give them a follow and subscribe. All right, well, I'm Small Town Exotics, spelled with an X, not an E, on Instagram, Facebook, and we just started a YouTube channel, so look us up there too. We got three or four episodes out and uh, making another one right now. So what are we going to um, vlog about on your channel? I'm not, I mean, I, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it, but we're going to have to go check your stuff out first. Uh, we're going to shop around and see what my favorite snakes are around here and see what I can talk you out of. Oh, that's going to be hard or maybe not. No, but all right. So guys, please do me a favor. Please go follow and subscribe. All right. So we're over here already, you know, looking at some cool stuff. I'm telling you, he has already picked out some crazy stuff, but how long have you been doing this for? I actually started in April of this year. Wow, dude, and you already have all that crazy stuff in your collection? Yeah, yeah. I got like 40 snakes right now, and I, I got some hognose too, so. Dude, that is so freaking nuts. So what's your end result with all this, man? What's your goals? Uh, Eventually, I'd like to be doing this full time. Hell yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we all want to do, man. So what's your favorite recessive gene? Uh, I would say all time would be pied, but I'm really into the puzzle gene. Dang, man. Should have said a clown. You should have <laughs> said a clown, bro. I mean, dude. Now, pieds are cool. Don't worry. Pieds are one of my favorites, too, but I'm a huge, huge clown guy, but I'm with you with the puzzle. I'm kind of going like, dude, speaking of puzzles, no, we, I'm not going to show you guys, but you guys go follow him and subscribe. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so, you know, 
Shane actually over here took the snake and Adam, I'm sorry brother, but you know, this little girl is gone, man. And you know, we bred her to a sunset too, so she's, you know, gonna go. So he just came up, man. Yeah, thank but, you, Miguel. Dude, money talks, I'm telling you, money talks, so. Bypass Del Puzzle. Do me a big favor, go follow Shane at uh, Small Town Exotics, follow his Instagram, and make sure you go check out his YouTube. Information is gonna be in the description down below. And like I said, he is building an amazing collection. Um, once you guys, he is building an amazing collection. I can't wait to go over there and vlog all his stuff. Like I said, he has some stuff that is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Definitely some investment ball pythons, that's for sure. Okay, so now let me go grab one of the kids, cause I need the kids to come help me film, so I can show you guys this insane, amazing, one of a kind clutches. So the kids didn't want to come help me. No, I'm sorry, they had things to do. But uh, so right here is the clutch and the, before I show you guys these one by one the pairing was a hypo puzzle to a leopard Mojave hypo so we definitely hit the odd. Let me start off with this little girl right here. Right here we have a regular hypo 100% head puzzle. These will all be 100% head puzzle and then we hit 2.1 leopard hypo 100% head puzzles. There's one, there's two, and then there's three. Look at that. And one of these guys right here is actually already sold. My buddy Harry from Royal Canvas. Zodics is it Royal Canvas Reptiles? I don't know. That guy still needs to change his name. But yeah, those are some cool odds so far, right? So we only hit one normal. And when I'm saying normal, it's like not a combo, just one hypo. Um, and then we hit this beauty right here. Mojave hypo. 100% hit puzzle. And then for the epic, you know I always say the best ones for luck. And we hit 1.2 of these beautiful Mojave Leopard Hypo 100% head puzzles. Look at that, those things are amazing and they will be staying here. But yeah man, talk about some awesome luck with these odds right here. We have one Hypo, three Leopard Hypo head puzzles, one Mojave Hypo head puzzle and two Mojave Leopard head puzzle. That is so freaking cool, man. I mean, you can't beat that. Also guys, we have our page officially up, our Instagram page where it's only snake stuff and merch. So make sure you guys go get follow at AEP underscore reptile underscore shop. Um, it's gonna be right here, here, Josh on this one. Put all over, man, seriously. Oh, and I'm getting a phone call. Um, one second, guys. And I'm back. Like I said, we have the Instagram up there. Guys, please go give it a follow. Please make sure you guys share. We're also going to be doing a giveaway really, really soon with that. So a lot of crazy things are happening over here at AEP, as always. I know I always say that. And I still haven't showed you guys my two new venomous uh, pets, which I will soon. Maybe I'll have the kids do an unboxing for that. No, I'm just playing. I'm not going to do that. But also, guys, um, we're actually going to start off our pairing. We're going to be starting off our breeding season for 2020 in the next couple of weeks. And I'm telling you guys right now, some of these pairings that we have are crazy, crazy. Crazy. So, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. So let me get this egg box ready and then pull out this clutch and put these little two eggs in the little box. Man, I have to do everything on my own today. That's what I get for leaving Tina hanging and then helping her with the dog. Yeah. I have someone finally help me. Thanks for coming, Hi, Turtle. So, Turtle, um, I talked early in the morning, obviously. Um, you know, you were a hero today, everyone. Give Tina an applause. Clap, clap, thanks, clap, thanks, clap, thanks. clap. So, tell us real quick, what happened? Well, I mean, I didn't know he can swim. I went over there and I threw the ball first. And kicked it. I kicked the ball first. And then I saw him just jump in. I was not expecting that. Rogue's a chicken. So, I was thinking he was going to be a little chicken or afraid of the water. How and cold was the water? Oh my god, it was so freezing. I could not breathe. <laughs> I know, she really couldn't, but... I could not breathe when I got out, seriously. Those people who do that ice, like, water swimming, you guys are crazy. Yeah, seriously. I cannot. But, um, what do you think about me not doing anything and just standing around? Uh, I mean, I wasn't surprised. Damn! <laughs> I mean, I do like coffee. Yeah, you like to be warm, too. Yeah. I, I will say this, though. I did, um, <laughs> not panic. I held my composure really good you for all did. of us. You did. And yeah, good job. Yeah. Thank and you. I just didn't want to Thank you in. for capturing the moment. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that was a big shout out to Vivint. <laughs> All the security cameras. I know, All right. thanks. So Tina's going to pull out that massive clutch that we have. Um, massive. And yeah, go from there. And here she is. Again, guys, this was a blackhead, red jean, ringer jean. Possible head pie bred to a leopard clown pie. Okay, here we go. Make sure she's empty. Those eggs look big. Not the little ones, but you know, big ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see. We're gonna get one, two. two. Dang. Should we put these in there just in case? I mean, you never know. Sure. 
after. I mean, there's a chance, right? <laughs> isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't, that, isn't there a chance? <laughs> a, I'm thinking we could feed this to somebody. I'm gonna give it to the um, to the monitor. Yeah, see perfect. what he does. Oh my God, this will be his first egg. I'm Ooh, excited. that'll be really cool. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see if the monitor eats this egg. All right, here we go. Eat that Weibo. Dang, bro, you're wild. I'll leave it in there for And then if he eats it, he'll get the taste of yolk. And then maybe, you know, he'll eat it some other time and then we'll film it. Should we put a hole in it so we can taste it? Um, yeah, try it. Oh, that's gonna make stink. Sorry, Jesse. It stinks big, don't you have to, you know, have to help a brother out. Here we go, a little bit. Give him a couple of little stand. Right there. Ooh. All right guys, so if he eats it, we'll you know let you guys know. If he starts walking over there, come on, let's see, maybe. Guys, as always, um, well, before we do our bye, our peace, um, please go check out the AEP underscore reptile underscore shop. AEP reptile shop, right? Yeah. It's gonna be all over the place, Josh, hook it up. We have some cool stuff, and remember, like I said, free shipping from here on out to the end of the year, and with certain packages, AEP Foreman Specials, Jesse will be giving a free block of Reptichip as well, so make sure you guys take full advantage of it. Um, as always, guys, till next time, deuce. deuce.